Welcome to the Sneaker Cave. This your boy Brandon. Yeah, that's right. The coolest YouTuber ever. And I'm back with another, another back video. And in this video, yes, I have the 350 MX Rock. V2 MX Rock. These boys, I know they dope, man. The colorway, man. This might be, I know I said it with the, uh, the Bugaloos <laughs> from the last video, these joints. That these, to me, was the Yeezy of the year, but I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because this colorway on this, when I've seen, is fire. So if you ready, I'm ready. Let's get right to it. Your username. Dope ass sneaker gang. What is the passcode? 746-3219. Take me to the sneaker cave. Access granted. Y'all ready? Let's go. So before we even get started in this video, I need y'all to do me a huge favor. If you want to become a part of the dope ass sneaker gang, I need you to give me a thumbs up, slap that subscribe button, hit post notifications, tap all so you know you're fine every time your boy drop a banger video like this one. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get right to it. I'll let y'all see the box. Let's see what it read first. It says MX Rocks. MX Rock. Okay, that's what it say. <laughs> I thought it was going to say like the colorway or something. Let y'all see that. All right. And of course, I'm from, like I say, I'm from the D. So I had to throw the yays on today. You know what I'm saying? A little icy. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. All right. I'm telling you, that might be the easy of the year. Might be the easy of the year. A little paper. Y'all know how I am with that paper. Let's put this back over here. Can y'all see this? Burn! It's rocks. It's hard. This colorway, man, is, is dope, man. This colorway is definitely fire. You see my previous videos, you know what I'm talking about, man. Yeezys is dope, but they don't got that mm, smell like the Jays do. I mean, it's what it is. See, that's the inside of it. I like this little thing. And of course, the pull tag. Definitely like the pull tags on my 350. You know what I'm saying? The Boogaloos, the, they ain't have them. Nope. They did not have them. Got the hiccups, I just got to eat McDonald's. <laughs> I don't even eat McDonald's. But yeah, these boys, this colorway, this is on my shoe. I hate when this extra glue, oh, I got it. I hate when uh, I got stuff on my shoes, but that's all shoes, though. Let's look at this one. What this tag say? Yeezy Boost. I never call them Boost 350 V2. Yeah, this, this colorway. See, the reason why I think this could possibly be the 2021 Yeezy of the year is because one a colorway but you could match this with anything when you got a black silhouette you can match it with anything you know what i'm saying like it don't it don't matter go with everything it's brown it's black it's gray those colors match literally anything yeah these boys man Oof. yeezys is so hard to get man what's on my shoe is this glue dang oh no look at that it is like little glue Get that off. I hate when I see stuff on my shoe, man. All right. I do not like stuff. Oh, this one ain't got nothing on it. Yeah, man. These, these is fire, man. I'm really, I'm really becoming. No, I don't want to say becoming. I really am a Yeezy fan now, man. I got like six, seven pairs now. And I really think. Oh, I love Yeezys, man. Everybody say the same thing. They're the most comfortable shoe that that's out. Besides like Vapor Max and Air Max, stuff, stuff, you know, certain things like that. But when it comes to like this type of shoe, you know what I'm saying? Because that's more like you can play basketball in them shoes. You ain't playing basketball in these. These are more like a casual, you know what I'm saying? A casual everyday shoe that you can just rock and that look good. That's dope. I think these boys is hard, man. Just, let's just look at, get closer. Y'all see that? It's just the colorway. It kind of reminds me almost like a chocolate and ash. You know what I'm saying? Like you barbecuing and got that after the charcoal get done cooling down. It reminds me of that. But 
Jesus. They so, man, I'm telling you, this, I don't know which ones on my Yeezys is my favorite because I like the old too and I like the Belugas, the Boogaloos, but uh, yeah, man, these Rock Boys, is, these, they hard. Let me know in the comments, did y'all pick them up? Did y'all skip them? Do y'all think this the best Yeezy of 2021? Do y'all think, you know, something else is? Let me know. I want to hear y'all opinion on what y'all think is the best Yeezy of 2021. What, yeah, what what's the best Yeezy, period. Even if they foam runners or the slides that I like or the 380s or the, uh, what is it, the 700s or something like that? I don't got none of them, but I can't remember what the other one is. But 350 is my favorite silhouette for Yeezy. It's going to always be my favorite silhouette. I know they're kind of old now and they just keep recycling in colors. But I'm still got I'm still grab them, man. You know what I'm saying? Because when they first was coming out with all them colors, I didn't I wasn't into Yeezys. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm am into Yeezys. I want every color. Every colorway. Red, blue, green. Have they ever made an all red Yeezy? I don't think they have like all red. That'd be fire with like a black strip or a white strip. That'd be hard, man. I do not wish they kind of gave you some colored laces. Like all the laces is like the color of the shoe. I wish they kind of gave you like a red lace, blue lace, because I ain't changing my. I changed Jordan, you know. I swap it out like a uh, Jada sneaker guy, but on my Jordans. But Yeezys, I ain't changing the. Um, I ain't changing the silhouette. I mean the silhouette. I ain't changing the the shoelaces. I'm not gonna change them. I'm just keep them like that. It's just man, when I see people with Yeezys, I'm like man, I know they comfortable. Before I got some hair, they look this sole. I think this is it look comfortable. And like I say, people always ask me. When you buy Yeezys, what size should they get? So, it's funny. So, with these, they, all my Yeezys are 11, but I really like 11 and a half in these 350 silhouette, right? But this shoe is tighter than this shoe. This is 11, this is 11. They both are size 11, right? But this, for whatever reason, feel looser around the toe box than this one. And my natural size, I would say, is um, 10 and a half. 10 and a half. It's my actual size I wear on, on sneakers, right? But I really like 11 for that comfort. It just gave me all my Jordans almost is almost comfort. I almost a uh, size 11, almost every one of them. And it just gave me that extra comfort. You know what I'm saying? So with these, I thought, okay, I read 10 and a half. Let me go up a half a size. But I really like 11 and a half in, in Yeezys. But these are more comfortable than ye these and they're the same silhouette. I don't understand that. Why? Just, I guess, the way they made that or something. I don't know. But around, just around the toe box. Just around, like, this area. It's a little tighter on the on the boogaloos. <laughs> I like this little strip. I like all of these. Yeah, man. Let's get this a Sneaker Cave 10. For Yeezys, Sneaker Cave 10 out of a 10. I don't know if I rated the boogaloos. If I didn't, them boys is like a, I don't know. I don't want to change my rating if I did, but I give them a, a nine point. No, I give them a ten too, man. They're ten. The Boogaloo's, the Belugas, <laughs> they're ten too, man. Excuse me. I've been calling. I've been eating them nuggets, man. They got me like burping. But I've been um calling them Boogaloo's so long. I keep thinking that's the real name. <laughs> but the Belugas, they are a ten. These are ten. Those are ten, and then my MX Oats to me are 10. The colorway on this is fire, man. Fire. So, yeah. All three of these are 10s. I know you got the blue one, the all black with the blue coming. That's a 10 already. I call it here now. It's 10. And I will have it and to review on this channel. It's for real. But anyway, if y'all want to see an on-foot video, leave me a comment. Let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you like these kind of reviews. You know, just from a real consumer. A real person who buy them with their own money. You know what I'm saying? I mean, everybody buy with their own money, but I work hard like everybody else do. So I buy what I like. I don't buy just what's hot. That's why you don't see me with just every shoe, every off-white or every this and that third. You know what I'm saying? I only buy what I wear. I don't buy shoes to sell. I'm not a reseller. So I don't go buy what's hot. I go buy if it's hot to me and I think it's dope, I'm copping them. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of shoes that come out next year that everybody loves. I'm like, I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? Like... The two that I gotta get is um the um we talk about it in another video, man. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about it in another video. This is all about the rocks. But thank y'all for stopping by. This your boy Brandon. Yeah, that's right. The coolest YouTuber ever. Checking out, signing out with another banging easy video. 
And uh, yeah, thank y'all for stopping by. Yeah, you can see through on it. You can see right through. All of the little strength you can always see through on the easy. I like that because it lets your shoes breathe more. But yeah, thank you all for stopping by. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell and turn on your post notifications because I got plenty more videos to come. Hopefully I get them breads. <laughs> and I can review that on the channel. But anyway, thank you. Love you guys as always. Until the next one. Peace. I got new plans, made new haters, and found new fans. You can ride, you can chill, even smoke to this.